I hope we're going to see him on the sharper part of, of the, the spectrum today. Against Yatsus Falco. So Falco, it's kind of weird because it is by far, by far the most represented character in uh, Romandie. We have uh, four or five uh, serious Falco players. And oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's a bummer. That's, that's just not how it's supposed to go. I feel like Aizu has to be a bit pissed about this one. It was just, it, it's crazy. It was just a, a down air at like 30 persons and well, what it works. But uh, Aizu, not the one to get uh, thrown off by this. He's gonna miss the timing here on the down air and on the forward smash. But he hasn't taken a single person. Well, he's taken eight. That was quite convincing, obviously, with the down smash. To framing the recovery here to get the Falco on the blast zone. And uh, yeah, we're back to even. Nothing happened, you know? That was the weirdest back throw I've ever seen, I feel like. At those low percentages. Never seen Squares don't do a back throw at such a, a low percentage. But uh, Aizu surely knows what he's doing. Kind of a character specialist on the Pokemon Trainer, if that's possible. <laughs> Pokemon Trainer obviously being a, a strange character because uh, at the same time it's very straightforward. Uh, you have very strong options on each one of your Pokemon, so you're really able to to put out a, a straight game plan out there and uh, go with it, go with your strong options. And at the same time, the, the fact of being able to switch between the, the three characters obviously creates a, a lot of uh, a freedom in the way you decide to approach games and matchups. So, yeah, pretty interesting. I guess Falco in particular. Oh my god, that was a good, uh, that was a good catch. Aizu is, is like, he looks, he looks really sharp today when it comes to, to getting back from behind really quickly, really efficiently, without dropping too much. If we were to apply the, the same pressure, uh, while being uh, while being in front, uh, that that could be that could be really good for the Pokemon trainer player. On the other hand, Yatsu here trying to find a way to end it. He's been able to find the stocks pretty early. The down tilt into forward is gonna put the put the Ivysaur off stage, but this time Aizu not gonna be missing the timing, and it's 1-0 for the PT. Convincing. Convincing by Aizu. He dropped behind really early. A whole stock after like a few seconds. And uh, yeah, he got back really convincingly. And that's good for him. Back with the same matchup, and I feel it's uh, only gonna get harder for Yatsu because, well, he got a he got a very free stock at the beginning of the last game, and he lost nevertheless. So I feel uh, without those uh, cheese factor, it's uh, only only gonna be harder. But I hope he proves me wrong here and uh, provides a a tougher challenge for the Pokemon Trainer player. But for the moment, it's just a stare down between the two players. Good back here. Squirtle is actually, is actually de doing decent uh, when we look at the way the, the set has been going so far. But I feel like Ivysaur would really be the go-to pick against Falco. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that comes from uh, nearly proving me right. <coughs> you wanna, you wanna be able to find those edge guards as well, find those down airs. Uh, it's gonna be such a hard move to deal with as Falco. And oh my God, he didn't cut it. He didn't cut it. He didn't cut it, and he's gonna SD here with the Ivysaur, uh, with the the Charizard. Sorry, and uh, uh, that's that's <laughs> that's kind of sad because he had it. He had it. Oh, that forward tilt is so strong. It's gonna get the job done. Meanwhile, back on the Squirtle. Back on the Squirtle, and uh, once again, I, 
it's kind of weird because it's been working, but I don't feel like Squirtle should be working that that well, maybe. You especially want to stay off Charizard, I feel, uh, in, in neutral in particular, because if you lose neutral once against Falco, you're going to get destroyed uh, as Charizard. Oh no, the mistake! Oh, that's so sad. And Aizu falling behind once again. It's really the same scenario, but uh, if we've learned anything from the previous game, is that Aizu should be able to clutch it up. Clutch it out. And for the moment, Yatsu staying in this game really sharply. A good parry, allowing him to extend his advantage. He's going to get a good spot dodge into grab. And uh, yeah, now it's Charizard time, you know. Uh, and that's not what you want to play against Falco, especially in those uh, disadvantage states. Oh, that forward smash was, was painful. And with that crazy double jump, he's going to be able to get back on the stage, and that should be the end. No, we don't succeed in punishing the the lag after the, the missed flare blitz. And that spot dodge once again. It's not going to kill, of course, but that spot dodge once again is doing wonders, actually. Well, you're a Falco player. What are you going to do that spot dodging? But, uh, yeah, it's working really well, and I'm surprised that a B out of shield missing there? That, that was kind of surprising. Okay, now it's just time. It's just time. Grab. No. Oh, he wanted it, but Yatsu was being clever. He knew what was safe. He knew he could frame trap him. And uh, yeah, Aizu not going to be able to grab. We know what he was going for. It was a grab back air. Uh, grab back air side B shenanigans that we love to see on, on, on Charizard, but yeah, that's not going to happen with the, the quick down tilt coming out and taking the, 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 the game for Yatsu. So it's going to be 1-1 one, one between those two players. We are seeing some uh, close confrontations for now in the second waves. It's really interesting. And uh, yeah, we're going to see who will progress right now. Come on, I Oh, so, sorry. Um, so, third game, what's going to be the stage pick? Because it could matter, uh, especially considering that Falco... Well, Pokemon Trainer can play well in every stage, I feel. Uh, so you have so so much leverage with the, the character. Falco, on the other hand, the stage pick can be very influential. And uh, I don't know about Kalos, honestly. I really don't know about Kalos. Uh, what is really good with Falco is when you're going to be able to kill early with a back air, for example, or an up air, uh, and that's never going to happen on the on Kalos. So you're going to have work. You're going to have to work extra hard for your kills. Uh, whereas for Pokemon Trainer, especially in this matchup, you're going to get most of your kills out of uh, edge guard situations, and so basically the stage, uh, well, the size of the blast zone doesn't change much when you're farming for edge guards. So, yeah, I think it's, it's not so great. And uh, obviously it's not going to be great if you SD <laughs> like that. Uh, it was a messy situation. It was really weird, uh, a bit janky. And uh, sadly, it's going to cost uh, Yatsu a lot with that SD. And uh, yeah, once again, that's weird. Because if you're going, if you're going for Kalos, uh, well, that was Aizu speaker, uh, obviously. but. If you're letting Kalos open, you're gonna have to be ready to, you know, to play patiently, to uh, dash back, to really set your uh, <laughs> set your annoying game plan, you know, with, with Falco when you just spam laser all, all across the stage. And I feel that's not really what Yatsu is doing at the moment. He's really going in. Uh, going in will mean losing some scramble situations against Pokemon Trainer because the character is that good. And uh, if you do, you're gonna get yourself off stage. And if, if you're on stage, you're in danger. So I feel like. Uh, I feel like it's clever from IC uh, to bring him on Kalos. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, why not? Why not? Why not? That works. So, that was uh, convincing Tristark. Uh, Kalos doing God's work for Aizu and uh, Side B taking it off.